Rock City was my favorite of the mutant powerhouses, but these days I prefer Bebop. Rock City is much more loudmouth than Bebop and seems much more brute in force, but that's probably because of those tusks. Uh oh, I think we broke it. But what do you mean we? I really wish we got human versions of Rock City. And not the mutations version, just a regular one. I guess for now, I'll have to make do with Zabover's DeviantArt page where he shows us his custom Rock City human versions. He also tells us what parts he uses to make them. Go check it out. The link is in the description below. Well, let's see. Um, first we went this way, and then, um, we went that oh, way. I think we turned left. Oh, oh, was, oh, it right? oh, was it down? And then up. Oh, all them Sus looks alike to me. Silent! Mutant, Mutant G.I. Mahler, Mahler and Shredder's and number, number one, one thug. Thug, 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 thug. Rock City is also a type of music, and this time, it's the precursor to reggae. Oh, and I can't seem to get that song Rocksteady by the Whispers out of my head, especially while writing this review. I had to go and buy that song because I just can't get it out of my head. I always thought that he was a punk like Bebop, but the portrait tells us different. I guess that's one of those differences between the comic, toy line, and cartoon series. In the cartoon, Rock City, Bebop, and their gang were hired goons for the Foot Clan. When Shredder found out that Hamato Yoshi and the Turtles were mutants, he wanted mutants of his own, so he had an open casting for humans to be mutated, and after he had stolen a rhino and warthog, he created these guys. It was during the first season of the show that the duo was most effective. Afterwards, they just became buffoons, but man oh man are they hilarious. Let's take a look at Rocksteady's articulation. His head can move from side to side. His arms can come up, although they do kind of taper in. And he does have swivels at the wrist. Both of his legs are on ball joints. Now let's take a look at his features. Even though Bebop had a lot of interesting details, Rock City goes back to being a bit more plain like the Turtles. Rock City has a helmet with goggles. His eyes are red with gray and he has two rounded horns. Oh yeah, and his teeth are showing on both sides. He wears a black tank top, brown camo pants, spats, and what looks like they should be boots. But really, they come off as dress shoes because of the spats. He wears bracers of some sort on his wrists, and he also has stitches on his right forearm. His accessories include a belt with two turtle shells on each side, machine gun, which is actually a retro mutagen gun, manhole cover shield, and turtle carver knife. He's definitely much more plain than Bebop, but still a rock solid figure. The prototype of Rock City is much different than what we got. And this is just speculation, but I really think that he was either the first or second bad guy figure. Since we see him standing next to an early Donatello prototype that's painted, he has a much more hunched over look and his head is much bigger. Kind of reminds me of the Street Sharks. Speaking of street sharks, his teeth are also pointed and pointing up, instead of rounded and pointing down. He's also positioned to hold some kind of rifle, machine gun, or rocket launcher. His horns are much more pointed as well. He seems to wear a backless tank top, or maybe he just has a halter top on since it's held together with a buckle. A blurry drawing in the background shows that he may have been designed to have a rocket launcher on his back and a ton of bullets on a bandolier that he drapes over him. Let's look at the portrait of Rocksteady. Mutant G.I. Mauler and Shredder's number one thug. Vital Rhintistics. Weapons. Retro Mutagen Gun, which is actually spelled wrong. Manhole Cover Shield. Turtle Carver Knife. Birthplace. La Brea Tar Pits. 
height 5 foot 7, weight 240 pounds, age 25, previous forms military punk rhinoceros. Rocksteady's tough rhino body makes him a turtle bashing powerhouse. His lack of smarts make him dangerous. This mutant mammal is big trouble with his retro mutagen gun. One shot can level a whole building or a shelled turtle. Off duty, Rocksteady loves to fry up a mess of juicy turtle burgers for the whole hungry foot clan. Rocksteady's field glasses survey the area for anything that looks like a turtle. He's mistakenly blasted soccer balls. This GI Rockhead blatantly displays his victory kills with the turtle scalps he wears around his belt. Rocksteady is 6 years older than Bebop. He's smaller than Bebop, but seems much more dangerous than the mutant Warthog. Also, I guess he's only had two victories since he only has two turtle shells, or scalps. I never knew he was such a gourmet chef either, but I guess maybe he was a cook when he was in the military. I mean, if he was even enlisted. Rocksteady doesn't have any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and other strangeness bio, so we'll just continue on. Rocksteady has a steady stance. His arms are a little too close together when they are straight out. I love the machine uh, retro mutagen gun, even though they spelled it wrong. Or was this when the word was being invented maybe? I, mean, I doubt it. Rocksteady didn't have any surprises for me in the sculpt, except for maybe those stitches. The surprises for me were his retro mutagen gun, and the fact that the shells or scalps were his victories instead of just making him look like a tough guy. He's still hilarious in the Fred Wolf show, and we couldn't imagine him without his mutant bro Bebop. Yeah, Krangy! Just one more chance, please! They're not to be taken too lightly though, because this pair can cause some real damage. Heroes in a half shell. Not weasels in a cream sauce. Heroes in a half shell. The tubular and way apart. Heroes in a half shell. They ain't no enchilada. Heroes in a half shell. They don't do the lumbada. I wanna be a hero like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I wanna be a hero like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Love weasels in a cream sauce. Heroes in a half shell. The tubular and way far. Heroes in a half shell. They ain't no enchilada. Heroes in a half shell. They don't do the lumbada. I wanna be a hero like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I wanna be a hero like the Teenage